in last year in many companies so many initiatives are getting started around generative ai so every small and large company is trying to do research with respect to how they can use generative ai technology how they can use apis of open ai to build applications which are powered by llm hi guys my name is rohit and in today's video i will share with you a road map to learn generative ai and road map to learn large language models for building applications let's get started so if you want to build applications which are powered by generative ai or large language model then you can build those applications using different languages but i would suggest you to build applications using python python is very easy programming language to learn so if you haven't learned python on youtube there are so many free resources available you can also refer my playlist so if you go on our channel there is a playlist for python so i have covered all the topics right from the basics topics to advanced topics so you can learn python because that would be useful for you when you want to use that programming language for hitting open ai apis or any apis of the large language models so this is the first step that i would suggest you learn python if you want to build applications using large language model or generative ai the second step that i would recommend you is like spend few minutes in going through the research paper of transformer so transformer is the building block of large language models many large language models are built using transformers and this is the research paper basically for transformer the title is attention is all you need because transformer architecture is based on attention mechanism which completely changed the landscape of working on the text data working on the free text data so spend some time in going through this research paper because that would give you better idea of how transformer architecture works because transformers are building blocks of large language model so this is the second step i would recommend you after you do that the next step would be try to understand how chat gpt is trained i am very sure that all of you have used chat gpt by asking it some questions by sending it some prompts so that is definitely a good step but along with that as you are now planning to become generative ai expert or you are planning to become someone who can build applications using generative ai and large language model it definitely makes sense to spend some time understanding how chat gpt trained their large language model so for that basically you can refer this link i would put all these links in the description of the video so there are there is a three step process which open ai has followed for training something like chat gpt so you can refer this process and that would give you better understanding of how large language models are trained by these big organizations now after you do that the next step that you can do is you can explore this link from open ai where you have information about developer platforms so basically here you would get information about various apis that open ai has exposed so using these apis you can build your own applications which are powered by generative ai and large language model so it is very important that you spend some time in going through these functionalities because that would give you information about which functionalities which options are available for example text generation embedding image generation which you can embed in your applications in the form of api because this is how you would be able to build llm powered applications without building your own model now the next step after that now this is specifically i would say for people who want to build machine learning models on top of large language model so for example till now if you are building text classification model right to build that model first of all you have to convert your text into some numerical representation so most of the people were using simple representation like tf idf or word to vec representation where every sentence is represented in the form of vector now instead of that for creating those embeddings so that vector representation numerical representation is called as embedding so you can create those embeddings without training your own word to vec or doc to vec model you can simply use your text and create those embeddings using open ai apis so there are apis which are for creation of the embeddings so you can use those apis and you will clearly get the examples as well so if you select here the kind of language that you want to use so for example if i select python you would get the example of how you can use the open ai apis for creating the embeddings because these embeddings would be basically your numerical representations of the text data and then these embeddings would act as input for your machine learning model say for example if you are building a classification model these embeddings would act as a input or features for your classification model so this is the next step i would recommend all of you to explore because this is very very useful if you are trying to build 
machine learning models or even some kind of a search functionality after you do that i would definitely recommend you to explore langchain and the rack framework within langchain so basically using langchain you can build applications powered by large language model and one of the application or one of the use case which is very very common in most of the industries right now it's creating chatbot on the data of that particular company so you can do that using rack framework so basically what happens in rack framework is you load your data so there are in langchain you have lot of options to load different kind of data sets so you can load your pdf files csv files you can load your sql tables so different kind of data sets you can load using langchain framework and once you load those data sets you'll have to split those data sets and create the embedding for it again using the large language models and store those embeddings and on top of those embeddings basically you can build your question answer system so i have created a youtube video where i have created a question answer system on the pdf data you can watch that to get more information about this but i would definitely recommend you to build this use case if you are trying to learn generative ai and large language model after you do that you can move to the next step which is fine tuning of the model so basically when we use apis those apis are converting your text into embedding or working based on the model which is already trained by let's say open ai but if you want to fine tune the model on your own prompts then you can use the fine tuning functionality which is shared by open ai so basically in fine tuning it is recommended to use fine tuning when you have your own data and there are many tasks which your model is not performing well basically you have some kind of a task where the open ai model is not performing well but you think that if you give it some examples with respect to prompting and answers for that it would get fine tuned and it would give you better performance so you can use this fine tuning steps which are shared by open ai along with the examples and fine tune model on your own system or on your own data the kind of problem that you are trying to solve this is the uh, another step that i would recommend you in your journey of learning generative ai and large language model so these are the important steps that if you follow i am very sure that you would get started with your journey you would start building applications which are powered by large language model and generative ai and i am very sure that even if you don't have expertise in let's say machine learning you can still follow this path apart from like say building machine learning models you can definitely build your chatbots you can definitely fine tune the models even if you don't understand machine learning now for each of these sections which i just described in this video i'm going to bring individual videos as well which would give you complete idea with respect to how to do these steps so if you are not followed this channel make sure you hit the follow button and thanks for watching the video and i will see you in the next video thank you and bye bye